This week, I found and tested out a new material called Quantum Tunneling Composite Pills. It's a new material which changes its electrical conductivity as a function of the stress applied to it. So it goes from a couple of hundred mega ohms when it's untouched to just a few ohms when you apply a small force to it. If you're into wearable electronics or sort of touch devices, I really recommend you have a look at it. It's inexpensive, elastic, durable and very small. In my case, I used it to create a small pressure sensor so people don't steal my precious uh, trophy. Now, what is really fascinating about this thing is the way it works. QTC is made out of a polymer that has a nanoscale conductive particles inside. At no times are the particles in contact. But when the material has a force applied, they just come closer to one another. And that allows electrons on those nanoscale particles to jump, to leap, or rather to tunnel from one nanoscale particle to the next. Now, what is really interesting there is that the fact that electrons never have enough energy to go from one particle to the next. They never have enough momentum or kinetic energy or whatever to go from one part to the next. But somehow, when I squeeze it, they somehow magically just go from one particle to the other. The reason is an effect called quantum tunneling. To understand it, we need to think of electrons not as particles, but rather as waves. Doing the maths behind this, this shows us that in order from electrons to move from one position to the next, they always have a certain probability. And the probability of going through the polymer is non-zero. It is just reduced exponentially with increasing barrier width. But if I ever so slightly reduce the polymer's width, I can have a huge impact on the probability that electrons will go through it. And this is how, by applying a small force, I can dramatically change the conductivity of a QTC. I know this sounds counterintuitive, but the real way to understand it is to just stop thinking of electrons as small particles which just move around, and rather as waves which have certain probabilities of moving through space and time. So what I recommend is you have you buy a couple, you have a go, you make something new, and just share it with me. Uh, so please keep me informed of what you did. Thank you.